someone who's looking at buying into a franchise as a way to park their money as an investment opportunity, it probably isn't the best fit. But if someone wants to make a return on their investment by partnering up with an entrepreneur, we've often had situations where uh, a father and son have come in and the father has the money, the son has the entrepreneurial hunger and ambition and wants to make a business work, great. Dad parks the money with his son and together they get into business and the son becomes the operator. So that's where it can be a great model that can pay great dividends. But if someone wants to just buy it and let it run itself, it's not quite, our business isn't the one for them. I got the whole set your business up like a franchise, even if you never think that you'll actually franchise because franchising succeeds at a much greater level than a non-franchise business because of systems, the systematization that's behind that business format franchise. I'm a believer that if you're going to get out and start a business, start within your means. If you've got a hundred grand in the bank and you think you can make a business work and you don't mind putting your life's savings on the line, great. Your mm -hmm. 401k, whatever you need to do, but don't overextend yourself. I, I don't love yeah. the concept of people getting out there and raising money, mm -hmm. A, because it's not their money and B, because you need to understand the value of really being connected to every penny that you're spending and, and spend it uh, frugally so that you can build out the business in a sustainable way. 